Welcome back to my uh, channel slash Patreon. In this video, guys, we're going to be reacting to Young Royal Season 2, Episode number 3. So this is probably the final, uh, final episode that I'm going to be, like, last episode that I'm going to be watching today. The rest three I would watch tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah. But if you're watching this on YouTube, you guys, got, you guys can watch the full reaction on my Patreon uncut uh, because this is just more, like, the highlights and commentary. Uh, so enjoy the full reaction on my Patreon. You guys will not just be getting this, but there are other 60 to 70 exclusive, exclusive BL shows and non-BL shows also. So go and check out my Patreon uh, and you guys can find out for yourself what, what you guys will get there. A link would be in the description below. Now, without any delay, guys, let's just get into this reaction. Okay. It's nice that the show is also focusing on these uh, mental health aspects right because everybody talks about mental health mental health mental health but it doesn't really dive into deep into the topic it's just like people talk about the surface area only and the, it is just used like without much much proper you know foundation like people would just give anything a name of mental health Wait, his hair seems incredibly black was it in other episodes too or is it just in this episode like he, it's like it seems like he colored black. I don't like how they speak about it. Aren't you rebounding with Mark? Like seriously. But he likes someone else. You cannot, you cannot start something new, fresh, nice with someone when you've not finished, you know, something from the past, right? It's like eating dinner when you've not even finished your lunch. That's like it. <laughs> you have to finish your lunch and after that you have to process it and then you can have dinner, right? You have to make that stomach empty to consume more. But when it is filled, you cannot have it. So maybe if he had moved on and if there was no one in the picture, then he could have fall, you know, like fallen for Marcus. But he's not moved on from um, this man. So yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for this man. You kissed him, you gave him hope and all of that shit. And now you want to ditch him? Simon, sir, you're better than this. I mean, you cannot... Uh, wow. Hello. Not knowing how love is, not experiencing... I, th I feel like that is like, ah, you know, like, you've not lived enough if you've not experienced that. That's one of the greatest joys of life. Well, technically speaking, he doesn't owe him an answer, okay? You can, you can just ask him, uh, you know, okay. humbly, but I don't think he really deserves, uh, like, uh, owes you an answer. Because they've broken up and they've gone separate ways. I mean, it's a different thing that they've not both completely moved on, but, yeah. What hope is there? I don't know if, what kind of hope are we talking about? Because he's not, uh, he's not going to be able to be with him until he's 18 or something, right? So, um, two years, a lot can happen in two years. Yeah, it's not because of that. He's, it's not because he doesn't think you're a good man. It's simply because he's still not over the man, the past man. Okay, maybe a hug is what he needed. Oh, damn. It doesn't seem like he wants to let go. But I, I, Marcus, I think you should really give him some time to fully be ready. I don't think you would want to eat a half-cooked rice. That's what he's exactly doing here. It still has got, gotten some time to cook full, cooked fully, but he wants to eat it while it's still a little bit raw. And uh, you can get diarrhea. Yeah, Wait, what? 
Oh wait, I, I I didn't think he wanted to have I I didn't I thought he wanted to have sex, but it seems like uh, uh he he didn't want to have sex. He just wanted to talk, and it seems like she wanted to have sex. <laughs> she didn't want to talk. <laughs> so awkward. She's not that interested in his talks. He's just interested in his body. That is so clear. And that Like he told him that they were not together, but I guess he has not uh, given an update, right? Yep. This is what I think I look like whenever I'm like, you know, listening to sad songs and walking on the street. No <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him though. Oh shit. Are they planning to separate them, you know, in like in the exchange of forgiveness? No, that's oh, shitty. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? Oh, Wait, wh what? What? Huh? How does that seem? <laughs> is this supposed to be happy news or sad news, guys? It from his face uh, when I first hear, heard her say it, I feel like okay, you know, you got to be king, so it's gonna be good. But looking at his face, it doesn't seem like he wants to be. Okay, he seems happy, definitely. I don't know. With power, he might change. That idea. Basically giving so much power to the someone who caused such great amount of loss and harm to the royal family and prince. How does that make any sense? The only good thing that comes out of it is that he would not have to be pressurized to, uh, you know, like, uh, not stay in relationship. He can get into a relationship with uh, Simon. Can we just talk about more, take a moment of appreciation for their friendship? This was something that I never really expected, but they've become so close and their friendship so genuine. Mm -hmm. And I love how she's always there for her. Mm -hmm. Considering the fact that uh, once before she wanted to be with him, and now she's the best friend being there. Oh no. This is how you ruin friendship, okay? This is how you fucking ruin fucking friendship. No. This gets weird after this, you know, you do not- Oh god, no. This is weird, very weird. Now their friendship is not gonna be as it was. The genuineness that it had is gonna be turned into awkwardness because we know that their relationship, they're not gonna be together. So how weird it is gonna be. Why do they always have to ruin stuff? Anyway, guys, that was episode number three, and I'm freaking mad. Like, what the fuck was that, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section if you want to watch the full, ups uh, full uncut reaction. It's over on our Patreon. And I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video.